How about the stewards? Okay, so class, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at some biographical information on Mr. Tolkien, since we're reading The Hobbit. <laughs> and what we're going to do, this is a biographical sketch, as you can see, about Mr. Tolkien. It's several pages, it's six pages long. And one of the ways that you can help your reading comprehension when you have a long passage to read is to look at all of the subtitles, which here are listed on the board, but you'll see them here, and to think of questions that you can ask that you think will be answered in each of those subheadings, in each of those um, parts of the reading. Okay, so take one and pass the, the others back, please. I'm from the set to the back. Thank you. Can I pass one back too? Yes. Thanks. Okay. okay, so if you take a look here, you see the first one is childhood and youth. Then on the second page, you have war, lost tales, and academia. The third page, Professor Tolkien, the Inklings and the Hobbits, etc., etc. So what questions do you think that you can ask about any of these? that might be answered in the text. Um, did Tolkien go to school or did he? Did his mom teach him or um, did he teach himself? All right, good question. Good question, how about another one? What did he do for fighting during his childhood? Excellent, back there. I was gonna say, how was his childhood? Was it good or bad? Excellent, good question. Um, what was his like, social status? Like, was he like poor or like, was he like really a wealthy? Was he a wealthy child? Okay, good. Um, maybe like what happened in his childhood that maybe influenced one of his writings or something? Fantastic. What were you gonna say? If he was, um, if he had a big imagination, if he was always imagining, or had a lot of like dreams and stuff like that. So okay. A lot of imagination. His books showed that he had a lot of big imagination. Yeah, so it would make, make you think, well, I wonder if you know, what are the things he was imagining when he was a child? Maybe he had a, an invisible friend or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice the other hand, maybe? Go ahead. Well, I, I can ask questions about any of the topics, right? Sure, any of them. It's a whole bunch. What was his favorite writing out of any of his other right, of, of his writing? What was the favorite of his other writings? Good. Okay. Like, how was he inspired to um, make the book from um, the, Hob the Hobbit or any of Okay, good. How was he inspired? We might find that from maybe, you know, one of these categories. I don't know. What do you think? Um, which wars were he in or war was he in? And um, uh, did he tell any story about them in, in his writings or relate them to his writings? Yeah, that's a great one. Which war was he in? Because it said here that war... Well, which war? All right, good. Part of that comes with you knowing, um, you know, when he published the book and when he lives, and things like that. Good. What religion was he for the cult? Yeah, what religion was he? Was he involved in the cult? It says the cult. Interesting. That's a good one. Anything else? Okay. Cool. What? Um, was he? Did what made him like love to write? when he was younger or or what when did he love to start when did he begin to love writing all right good we could get that probably from this one maybe the storyteller perhaps yeah, yes kind of to add on to what uh, he said um what influenced him to start writing what influenced him to start good excellent <clears throat> what other kinds of stories did he tell what other types of stories did we know about this one right but maybe he didn't write just fantasy maybe maybe not all right, good. Well, let's see if we can find the answer to any of these questions. I think that um, we could start out with the childhood and youth. You can take a quick look in here. You can see a lot about it. Um, one person I know had asked about whether or not he was rich or poor. Do you see in the fourth paragraph the answer to that question? Oh, yeah, I see it. 
as I said, um, he said that um, Tolkien family life was generally lived on the genteel side of poverty. All right, excellent. So you had the answer there on the genteel side of poverty. So he wasn't rich, <laughs> but Brilliant. he wasn't starving to death. So that's that's right over here on the board, so, right on this paragraph. Yes. So then, was he like middle class then? Wasn't quite middle class, lower lower middle class, let's say, very low middle class. Barely able to make it, you know, get Top to get people. by. They were had the things they needed to live, but that was about it. All right, good. So how about the question about what religion was he? Because when you see the cult, I would think being that, you know, here we are, you know, knowing that he's got a biblical worldview, why on earth? What it say? The cult. Yes, sir. Well, I kind of ask because, um, um, well, uh, when my dad was younger, he was involved with the cult and stuff, and because uh, he wasn't really too sure like about it until like someone of course showed him and he became Christian and stuff. But um, yeah, he was involved with the cult, so I kind of ask because. Yeah, um, it says here that he was a Christian and stuff, and I just wanted to know if that's kind of the same story as my dad and stuff. All right, fantastic. Well, if I look at the answer in that paragraph here, can you tell me what the, why it is the cult, the cult, as you see, is in quotation marks. So can you give me the answer of what they're talking about? Oh. <laughs> um. Yes, Mr. X. I I don't know actually. Okay. Give us Is it uh, his new book, Lord of the Rings, in that in that um time? Why that? Why do they call him saying the cult? Because everybody had like mixed feelings about it, and they're like, "Wow, it's a new book," and they read it, and it was really good, and they were everyone was talking about it. Okay. Good. What do you? Because it wasn't really like. A religious kind of cult, but it was like a cult in like literature. Okay, all right, good, good. Something everybody got like sucked up into. Oh, I like that. I got sucked up into. Did you ever see um, maybe on YouTube or, you know, parodies or things like that where they show they, these Star Trek conventions and everybody comes and they've got the little Vulcaneers and they're all dressed up and they're all, you know, live long and prosper. Sadly, and yes. They know every word of every episode and um, there's a funny parody I saw once and it had William Shatner up there and as if they were at one of these conventions and somebody was like, oh, oh, oh I have a question. And he says, yes. And he says, what was the combination of the safe in the episode? And he says to the final, they ask all these really nitpicky, crazy questions. And finally he says, people, it was just a TV show. It wasn't real. And everybody in the audience was like devastated. Like, <laughs> 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 you know? and it's so funny. It's so My life is a lie. But doesn't, you know, sometimes that happens to people, you know, if it says oh here, as you, as you see, that um, you know, it got to the point where all of a sudden, like, everybody wanted to read the book. Everybody was into The Lord of the Rings. So it almost became like a little bit of a cult. Very interesting. All right, good. And one of the questions that we can, we can answer pretty easily was about what war was he in? So we can go to the paragraph. War, Lost Tales in Academia. And what does it tell us about his service? Okay. You said that he was in World War One. Yes, how do we know it was World War One? Because <clears throat> he said that um, Tolkien did not wish to join up immediately on the advocate of war, but returned to Oxford, where he worked hard and finally achieved the first class degree in June 1915, which is basically around the time of the World War Which is basically around the time of World War well, well, nice World alliteration makes it tongue tie. Tongue World tongue War tongue One. Okay. World War One. Excellent yeah. inference. You can infer from the from the year that that's what it was. All right. Excellent. That was fantastic. So I think I can shut the camera. Let me see. Bye. <laughs> that's okay. This is.
This is Erzy's class, English 8 Literature, signing off.